Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at multiplying fractions with word problems in this episode of basically math tutoring or um, sharpening your math skills. So what we're going to look at is the meaning of the word of. Of means multiplication. So if you're asked to find a quarter of something or half of something, basically that's multiplying. So we can write that out as a quarter would be one fourth of means multiply and two thirds is written as two thirds. So the most simple form of a multiplication math or fraction problem would simply be this a quarter of and then you give a fraction or half of and you give a fraction. You could even have half of and you could say half of and actually have something that is um, a, a whole number like half of two, half of three. It would work out exactly the same way. We'll multiply one times two gives us two, four times three gives us twelve and then we simplify by dividing both the top and bottom by our greatest common factor which in this case would be two and that leaves us with one sixth. So a quarter of two thirds is one sixth. That would be our final answer. For the next word problem, we're going to look at halving a recipe. This is actually a very common skill, something that um, we do often. And you'll notice that the process of doing this is the same as dividing by two half of something means multiplying times one half or dividing by two it will do the same thing but in this lesson we are talking about multiplying fractions so we are going to set each one up as a multiplication if you're asked to half a recipe you're looking for half of whatever the ingredient amount is so that's half times in this case two and one quarter half of two is one and one half times one quarter gives us one eighth multiplying our numerator times numerator denominator times denominator notice I did have to multiply one half times the whole number as well to get that answer of one and one eighths so if we're halving this recipe we're going to put one and an eighth cups of flour um, the ones that are whole numbers are sometimes a little bit easier. One teaspoon of baking soda is one times one half, which gives us one half. If we want to see that fully displayed, one is equal to one over one. When we multiply times one half, it gives us one over two. Remember when we're multiplying, we multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So one times one gives us one and one times two gives us two. That would be half of a teaspoon. This one here is the same one half of a teaspoon so it would be exactly the same um, which gives us one half again. We have half a cup which would be the same as one times one half which gives us one half half a cup and now we come to some fractions that are going to make this lesson a little bit more exciting. Three quarters of a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. We'll multiply one half of three quarters. I am not sure why that keeps happening, but I apologize. One half times three quarters. We'll multiply our numerator times numerator. One times three is three, and two times four is eight. So it'll be three eighths of a cup of sugar, which will be a fun thing to try and measure out. Instead of three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, we'll, that we would multiply the same, right? One half of three quarters, which gives us again three eighths. This is crazy. Why is it? It really just wants to make these straight up and down marks. 
All right, let's try again. Two times four is eight, much better. Um, half of one teaspoon is one times one half, which will give us one half. And half of two large eggs, one half of two gives us two over two, and that simplifies down to being one. In other words, if you're halving a recipe and it calls for two eggs, you'll put in one egg. Again, the, the process of multiplying times one half is the same as dividing by two. And you'll see that throughout here, especially with the whole numbers. One divided by two is one half. Two divided by two is one. But with all of the other fractions, this is a good exercise to try and multiply times one half. And it's a practical experience where you'll actually use it if you are ever halving a recipe. I hope that that tutoring session was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.